We're live? Live on Facebook? Live on Instagram? Boom, guys. Welcome to another traffic training with Fabian. I just wanted to record this training for you guys because it's extremely important and how to really differenti differentiate yourself with the rest of the marketers out there. And by far, what literally has, you know, like changed my game within marketing, it's storytelling marketing. And whoever who hasn't like heard about that, seen about it, how does it work? I'm gonna break it down for you because it changed my game, changed my clients' games and anybody that I work with because storytelling is something that you are always going to relate. We're basically using human psychology to go through all the barriers, jump all the loops that any client or any prospect will have and you're just gonna go straight and get what you want. So basically storytelling marketing, how I broke this down, uh, has six main characteristics. You need a character or a face of the company for your business. So for example, if you're a current business owner and let's say you're a dentist, and you're trying to get people to sign up to your uh, consultations, the best way that you can do it is doing it yourself because you're gonna create a higher level of value and intent than someone that is just trying to sell ads with regular images and see if they can convert. Human exposure and one-on-one, -on -one, uh, let's say exposure, it's by far what really connects people towards people, okay? So that's point number one. Point number two, you're gonna create a deep personal connection with the audience, why? Because now you're getting out there. People are seeing you, people are noticing you. You're gonna be getting out there and you're gonna get you know, shown in different ads, different type of ads, you're gonna be recording different type of videos, et cetera, et cetera. So you're always going to relate to people, okay? So step number three, your, all, your audience will relate and remember you. This is by far what really, uh, it's like the catchiest thing. Because you, and we're gonna use an example later on, and basically what this does is just creates a character in, in, the, in, the, in the people's minds, and will allow you to connect even further, because they already know what they are, what they are doing, or they even will uh, start generating uh, curiousness based on what you're basically showing them, okay? So, step number four, this is by far what's best, because you're gonna be soft selling them indirectly. So when you're doing ads, you shouldn't be trying to force a purchase or force a sale because it's kind of when you were old, uh, when you were younger and you were at home and you saw like someone knocking on your door and trying to sell you something, you will literally slam the door on their faces because you don't want to be sold. No one wants to be sold unless you really need to. So the reason why storytelling marketing is so powerful, it's because through marketing and through storytelling, you're basically going to indirectly persuade anyone to buy your product. And I'm gonna show you an example how. Number five, you need a catchy slogan. Everybody has it. McDonald's has it, Coca-Cola has it, all the big companies has them. And there's a reason why, because there's, it's a catchy phrase that people will remember and they're gonna relate to your brand. So it's not only the symbol, it's not only the brand name, it's actually the slogan that can also add another layer of connection with your audience, okay? And by far, the one that I like the most is that people will always be talking about you and your brand always. And I'm gonna really show you guys an example, and this is by far what I really like about this and let me just uh, you know, talk about this a little bit so you guys can understand. I'm gonna use an example. And this example uh, was one of the most successful uh, ad campaigns for a beer company. And I'm gonna show you how and which one specifically. But I just wanna let you know that this company started this campaign in 2006 and it went all the way to 2018. It's over 12 years of this advertising storytelling campaign that actually tripled sales with this specific company. So uh, let me just set up a context because what I'm talking about, it's about the most interesting man in the world. And if you haven't listened or heard about who is the most interesting man in the world, I'm gonna show it to you. But first, let me set up a context. So basically you can understand where the, this company or the media company that was working with them got the idea. So I guess you guys know who Chuck Norris is, right? Chuck Norris, the guy that you know fights karate, the guy that it's really famous, the one that it's basically like unbeatable, they created a character based from him and I'm gonna show you how this really works within marketing so you guys can have an idea 
how to apply this to your business, okay? So let me just come up here. Uh, I'm gonna put this here, so hopefully everybody can listen to it. He wouldn't be afraid to show his feminine side if he had one. His mother has a tattoo that reads, son. <laughs> allowed to touch the art he is the most interesting man in the world i don't always drink beer but when i do i prefer those zackies okay so that's the most interesting man in the world so that's one ad let me show you the rest of it and at the end of the day you guys can see that this guy is just outrageous he's just saying uh things that you know might gonna bring your attention so let me just show you some other ads so you can guys can see Slogan, stay thirsty, my friends, okay? In a past life, he was himself. If opportunity knocks and he's not home, opportunity waits. He gave his father the talk. He is the most interesting man in the world. I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer those Zaggies. <laughs> Thirsty, my friends. Again, a new version, and you keep showing it, you keep showing it, and it's building, building, and building upon your audience. Okay, so now they adapted their ad, their storytelling to actually the uh, Winter Olympics. And this is something that you can adapt to anything. Let's do another one. Stay thirsty, my friends. Stay thirsty, my friends. He is the life of parties he has never attended. <laughs> if he were to punch you in the face, you would have to fight off the strong urge to thank him. Sharks have a week dedicated to him. Interesting man in the world. I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I prefer those Zaggies. Stay thirsty, my friends. Okay, so this is just a simple. Let me just put my mic on. The most interesting man in the world wants to keep playing, but that's basically a simple example of how you can create storytelling throughout your business through creating characters, creating stories, connecting to people, connecting to specific events that are happening. And basically Dos Equis did this for over 12 freaking years. It's a lot. And if they're doing it and they were able to triple their business, it's because of something. It really means something. So by just giving you that example, let's break down the most interesting man alive with everything that I just said. You're creating one. It's called the most interesting man in the world. You're, you're creating a deep personal connection with the audience because, for example, generally people that drink beer, they're more like rugged, uh, they're trying to be like a little out there, manly man, etc. So they're immediately connecting. People are always going to relate and remember. Why? Because it's the most interesting man in the world. Like, the name says it immediately. It's outrageous. People will remember it. They're soft-selling indirectly. Again, I don't always drink beer, but when I do, I drink Dos Equis. He's saying that he doesn't drink beer all the time, but when he does, he drinks specifically the product that you're selling, okay? So, uh, catchy slogan, stay thirsty, my friends. Again, right? And people will be talking about your brand all the time. It did happen for over 12 years, guys. So again, this is just a really simple example on how you can mold this into your brand. And again, if you're finding all this information valuable, I really strongly recommend you to go to SebastianGomezMentoring.com. This is just a simple way that we can help build your company, build your business, and actually starting like getting started right from the get-go with the right foot, guys. So again, this is just like a simple training that I wanted to record today to show you guys the new best way that I was able to find and use to help clients and help others build out through their business. Again, character, a face of the company or face of the business, deep personal connection with your audience. The audience will always relate and remember, you're always gonna be soft and selling indirectly 
you're gonna find a catchy slogan and people will always, uh, if you have a catchy slogan and all the five of the above, people are always going to be talking about your brand, about your business, about anything that you're putting out there because you're actually connecting psychologically with your audience. Again, guys, thank you so much. If you really find this valuable, go to SebastianGomezMentoring.com. We really wanna help you guys. Just go to the page, watch the video. It's really simple. And if you really wanna work with us, just schedule a call. I'm gonna be the one answering the phone so you know we're real. Thank you so much. My name is Fabian Cordo again. See you in the next training.